Last week in May, 2023, leaving our home in Villarreal de Santo Antonio, going to the train station, going to meet our grandkids, coming in for a four or five day visit, and we're going to document the trip using our little GoPro. We're heading toward the train station right now. We're going to meet them in Faro, pick them up, come back by train, and have a good time. Film. The Villarreal de Santo Antonio train station. On the way to pick up tickets. And my lovely wife wants my driver's license. That's Castro Marin over across the way. You can see the castle and the fort. landscape. That's the bridge over to Spain. As Carol says, here comes the train. I know Carol. favorite pulled pork place in Faro near the train station, except they're not open. So there won't be any pulled pork tonight. Just the Faro airport over there, planes coming in. There's a marina with mooring lines. I don't know how you get back to your boat. So there's the airport. From Lisbon is coming in about 20 minutes late and we think they're holding the train to Villarreal de Santo Antonio so we'll have to hurry. Smile. Hi guys, here's your tickets. He's just gonna come around and just punch him. We're back in uh, Villarreal de Santo Antonio. We're home. We're probably gonna walk to our apartment. There's our Entremarche store. That's one of five grocery stores that we use all the time. We have an Aldi. We have a Lidl. Two Continentes and a Pino Doce. And we use a Mini Presso and a local great little store called Corvo and Corvo. toward the beach, just past the lighthouse, I got to pull the camera out, and here we are, we're going to enter this forest area which runs along the beach, the NVRSA, and it goes out about a half a mile.
That's Monte Gordo in the uh, distance on the horizon. Coming up on the beach, this is the long beach restaurant in uh, Villarreal de Santo Antonio. Down in Monte Gordo, I have a dozen of them right on the beach with lots of cabanas and umbrella rentals and so forth. So this is a quiet beach here. That's the Atlantic Ocean. Oh, they do have umbrellas out today. They didn't have that here during the winter time. Guadiana River, the big jetty that goes out, and then the river picks up right over those things there. The ocean is about 65 degrees today, very pleasant. Well, now that we've reached the river, we're going to walk north, back into town, past some restaurants. Water looks great today. It's clean, bright blue. And a big sand bar out there. This is a neat place we stopped. We've been here before, but... Katie just noticed these are little cabanas and they rent them. They have a nice pool overlooking the river. And there's lovely Katie looking at Cafe 818. Get on that roof. I could hear a beer calling. Okay, the sangria is excellent here. We're gonna probably get a pitcher with some snacks glass encasement here overlooking the river very nice setup there's a pensive dude overlooking the river that's a nice beach over there too And there's a marina next to us there. That's Ayamante, Spain, the bridge. Lovely Katie taking pictures. Lunch and snack, heading back to the uh, apartment, walking along the riverfront. Mm -hmm. 
put the game in here. Go. Our game. Our favorite Chinese store in town, in which Carol calls our many Walmart. kinds of stuff. Nuts and bolts, tools, right next to the clerk store. Right on our street. And the little reality Santo Antonio. Lots of restaurants open. Gelato, pastelarias, crepes. They have lots of sunglasses and glass glasses here. This is Catabella. They have like three stores in town. They're selling all kinds of kitchen wares and house decoration goods. There's our shipping company and mail delivery. More restaurants on the side street. Might you need an umbrella? We bought one last week because it started to rain. First time in six months. Another Caravella. Phone carcasses, which are the casings. Bellhop. That's a not multi store. That's some interesting stuff. There's a course of Portugal. Portuguese sportswear. That's Ronaldo. <laughs> Cristiano Roma Ronaldo. He's a famous football player. In the fast lane. So he likes our bikes. And those look pretty good too. So, Katie, are you all pumped up? No, I have the back colors. I have to. Right. Yeah, there you go.
going up in Monte Gordo and you can see there's a whole lot more restaurants on the beach on the boardwalk here than there is in our hometown of the RFSA. This is more of a beachy town. Big time summer, big time fall off in the winter time. But it's still beautiful. More umbrellas here than the other place, huh? Oh, yeah. This is big time. And the water's a lot calmer here for some reason. I'm surprised there aren't more people out on the beach. Yeah, it's a hot day. Yeah, it is. Another month or so, and this place will be packed. There are plenty of water closets on the uh, boardwalk too, so and the restaurants will have so. Mount up again. Ready to go. Ready to go, Katie says. The way back to VRSA, there's a little campground kind of thing. Just leaving Monte Gordo. Got a camper parked up there, probably stopping for lunch. Here's the uh, beginning of a pine forest, which winds are street and goes all the way to the ocean, the Atlantic Ocean right there. So we have a nice barrier of about a, a kilometer of pine barrens. Very nice. Katie and Chris just went into our Continente Bondia. It's a smaller store. This is one of two continentes here in VRSA. And look at uh, bike that we picked up last year. It's a red power bike and it's a Model 5 which rad expand. It's a foldable so that we can get it in the elevator. Down. Your estuaries, you can see the current speed, it's pretty quick. Going underneath, there must be a little trestle or a bridge to the It's a nice ride. We're going into salt country there. You can see some piles of salt. It's all done by hand. It's wonderful salt. It has minerals in it, you don't get any iodized stuff. Highly processed. This is really good. I mean, you use like one tenth the amount of salt. You just sprinkle it on top, and it just tastes great, and it's just wonderful. Walking up towards the church in Castro Marine, and there's the castle.
This is your kitchen. This is your bar. Overhead table seating and eating area. And behind that is your house of torture chambers. At the castle up there with the Knights Templar emblems. The stadium over here. For Corvo Market here, which is a uh, Raven. The boat trip that we're taking the ferry over to Isle Monte Spain. And we're walking down to the uh, the boat area, the ferry area right now. A little after 10 in the morning, the sun just came out. Oh, the shops are getting their orders out on the uh, promenade. People cleaning, which they do a lot here. Very clean place. They have street cleaners as an occupation. A lot of Disney. A lot of English speaking towels and shirts around. So we're walking down to the river area to catch the ferry. And this is a view of all of the shops on the way down. Restaurants pretty much don't begin opening until 11 or 11.30 for lunch. But every day these people put their wares out, so you have a display on. Polaroid. And with the sunglasses now, not so much film. This place is open for breakfast. Looks like breakfast is pretty much over already. More people bring stuff out. This is the town cultural center. This is the town square. They have some children's play already set up. There's a whole bunch of restaurants. There's a hotel over there. There's some gendarmes. The Pistana Hotel is really a nice place. We love that. Town Square Church. Bell goes off every hour on the hour. Tell you what time it is. I'm sure a lot of the local people behind the church appreciate that. <laughs> yeah, some kids, kids there today. Yep, kids' drawings. And there's the riverfront coming up. 
is the camp, the municipal building. More restaurants down the other end of the square. This is the Pombal Square. There's a good gelato place down the street there. And here's our local bank. Millennium and BCP. You can see the swifts and the swallows here. They are amazing birds. They fly fast too. I hope you can see this. I hope you can hear them. They're everywhere. This is my lovely wife. We're walking toward the ferry area, which is right behind that Guadiana restaurant there. Here's the Grand Hotel in the, on the Guadiana River. A little pricey in the season. It's over 400 a night. The dinners are about $100 a head uh, in season. And here's the marina. Coming up down there is a major building, looks like an old hotel that needs restoration. It looks like it's empty. We would love to be able to refurbish that and reopen it as a hotel and a restaurant, but we are lacking those funds right now because that would take a lot of euros. We are lacking those funds. We are lacking those funds. Oh, can you hear the birds? Amazing. There they go. There's fuel prices. 151.9 per liter, but that's down from what it was six months ago. There's Chris and Katie buying the tickets. And there is the ferry. It just pulled in. A whole bunch of people got off. Looking for the uh, Atlantic blue crab that can go to the area. We have not seen any yet, but we have seen the blue crab in the uh, fish markets. This is the river. There's the ferry. And there's Ayamante Spring. Coming up on Ayamante, we're on the ferry. There's the bridge between Spain and Portugal. There's the RSA, up in the distance with the lighthouse. Now we're in Spain. Okay, I was going to buy some return tickets so we don't have to rush at the last minute going back because frequently we were running for the last boat ferry back. Warren, Katie, and uh, Chris, you might be a little more cautious crossing at the crosswalks here because they don't honor the uh, same rules as intensely as they do over in Portugal, the crosswalks. This place here does flamingo on Friday nights in their back uh, patio area. We haven't been there yet. This is the town square, or at least one of them. Restaurants all around the square.
No, it's not obrigado or obrigada. It's gracias. She stays Thursday. She does. Okay. Yeah. Blackfoot ham. Hola. 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 Ham and cheese. Well, you can probably get some sliced if you want. Yeah, I'm sure you could. You want to try some? Yeah, you want to try some? Sure. Go to the counter and ask her to get some sliced. So you want... Um, I don't know. Still over in Ayamante, they'll pick a later ferry back. <laughs> 